Hi everyone, hope you're all doing great. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Asus Swift 3 SF314. And for those of you that don't know, my channel reviews all kinds of laptops just like this one I'm reviewing today. So if you're in the market for a laptop or just interested in them, consider subscribing. Anyway, let's get into this review. Alright, so this laptop comes fitted with one of Intel's latest 11th gen CPUs, which is very flexible in the tasks it's able to complete. From running complex macros on Microsoft Excel to running virtualization software to test new things, this laptop can pretty much do it all. A complimentary 8GB of DDR4 RAM will work like a perfect partnership alongside the CPU, enabling multiple applications and internet tabs to all be running simultaneously. In addition to this, a 512GB SSD provides more than enough storage for all your files and adds yet another layer of stunning performance, allowing lightning fast booting up times and rapid opening of any applications or files that are saved on it. In terms of looks, as always, Acer have smashed it. It looks premium, feels premium, and just is premium. It's thin and highly portable, weighing in at just 1.2 kilos and measuring 15.2 0.95 millimeters. This is all thanks to its magnesium aluminium metal chassis. The keyboard is very high quality and lovely to type on. However, one minor complaint. I'm not too sure about the placement of the power button. It's right next to the backspace, which inevitably you'll press regularly. And if you slip and accidentally clip the small power button, you could risk shutting down your whole laptop. So if Acer could have moved this elsewhere, then the keyboard would be a 10 out of 10 for sure. When looking at the screen, it's hard to look away. The full HD 1080p IPS panel boasts great viewing angles, as well as impressive detail and vivid colours. The wide viewing angles make the Acer Swift 3 perfectly suited to a wide range of tasks, including editing documents, browsing the web or even watching a movie. The Swift 3 features Acer's blue light shield technology, which they claim helps reduce eye strain and fatigue. The screen to body ratio is 82.73%, but in my opinion Acer could have made the bezels smaller, but it's not the end of the world. With regards to ports on this laptop, on the left hand side, a charging port, USB Type-C port, HDMI port and USB 3.0 port can all be found. On the right side, a 3.5mm audio jack and USB 2.0 port can also be found. This laptop has plenty of ports and the USB Type-C port allows you to connect a 4K monitor which is very very cool. When a laptop is fitted with a powerful CPU like the 11th Gen i5 seen in this one, battery life is always a concern and normally a compromise but amazingly Acer have managed to squeeze a claimed 13 hours of battery life. This is absolutely fantastic but as I say in every one of my reviews this number will obviously change depending on what you're doing on the laptop so please bear that in mind. This laptop being priced at around £900 must must have some cool features other than the ones I've already talked about, right? Absolutely right. The first cool feature that Asus Swift 3 has is Wi-Fi 6. But what is Wi-Fi 6, you may be asking? Well, essentially, it is quicker Wi-Fi. Three times quicker, to be precise, than the previous generation of Wi-Fi. In addition to this, a fingerprint scanner has made an appearance onto the already brilliant keyboard. This is a really cool yet useful feature because it doesn't require you to have to type in a password, which, for me, can get really annoying sometimes. Or I might just be impatient. The final cool feature I'll be talking about in today's video is the backlit keyboard. I've said this many times times now, but I just think that backlit keyboards give the laptop a much more premium edge. So all in all, what do I think about this laptop and who is it ideally meant for? Well, given the specs it has, I think that the i5 CPU is sufficient enough to do most things, and when all the components are put together, this laptop is an insane all-rounder. I believe this laptop is ideal for anyone wanting fast performance for work, home, or light gaming. Businesses will be able to fully utilise the performance of this laptop when using internally developed software too, so an absolute must-buy. That's about it for this review. If you want to see a review on a similarly spec laptop, Laptop, then click the video on screen now and if you want to explore all of my other reviews then why not click on the playlist thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one